Okay, so I haven't had Tyler out in the interstate by himself too much. So I fortunately was in the area. I wanted to make sure I showed him how to do this right. So he's up there loading up that Honda. I'm, I'm running a blocker behind. Everybody's got their own opinion. I like to be only a truck length behind so people don't duck in between. But I've got traffic down to a single line and they will run the speed I tell them or else. This is the way we do it without getting run over. The kill rate is way too high and it's a higher percentage this year than it has been ever. So if all these people have to wait and lose two minutes in traffic, better than me losing a grandson. See how he's coming. So, once I got down slow enough where I thought they were all under control, and it goes back quite a ways, now I can let them speed up just a little bit. I like to have them go by about 45 miles an hour. Once they're in a steady line like this, call it a queue, we call it a queue. And everybody's gonna make it safely through. traffic this time of day a lot of traffic It's really hard to do this when you're by yourself sometimes, but the more traffic, actually, the easier it is because it's like sheep. Once you get them all in a row, they have a tendency to stay in that way and follow the leader. So, like I said, everybody's got their own ways. This is one of the ways that I do it. It's called survival. He's almost loaded. <sighs> Chilly out here. to hold the phone up with frozen fingers but
Yeah. We're going to make it home safely, and all these people are going to make it home safely. They'll be five minutes late from wherever they're going, but that's a lot better than running over somebody and, or worse yet, having the big one. You could have a Daytona style crash with this much traffic if you don't watch it. Right here, you got a guardrail and the snow's pushed, pushed away from the guardrail even. You got no room to work. If you don't protect yourself, nobody's going to. How do you like my Q line? Yeah. This is the way you do it. You make them, you make them not hit you. It's the best I've ever seen it. Oh, that's it's because this is because this is how you do it if you want to survive. It's the best I've ever seen it with no problem. Yeah. Right. Okay, you're good. Tighten that up and we're out of here. <laughs> okay. All right, so like I said, anybody wants to complain about this, they can come talk to me directly. But I am uh, taking my own destiny and that of my employees and Especially my grandson into my own hands. There. Guess what? Out of here.